is News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Live at 4. Happy spring. Yes. Today is the first day of spring. Yeah, but here's the thing. Snowfall could be coming later this week. News 3 Now is tracking alert day conditions for Thursday and Friday. Let's send it right over to meteorologist Jacob Montesano for a first look at your first warm forecast. Jacob? Yeah, don't let today fool you. It is going to feel like winter despite it being the first week of spring. We have an alert day Thursday night into Friday for some snowfall. Now, accumulations will vary depending on your location across our area. It looks like we are going to see heavier snow north of Madison and Dane County, lighter snow to the south, and Madison will kind of be right in the middle. Now, for those of you east and west, this is kind of got to, this is going to be pretty much perfectly east and west. The lines aren't going to change all that much as it'll be a pretty straightforward east to west system with uh, the further north you are, the more snow you'll see and the opposite for the further south you're located. Now, let's take a look at that forecast. We're pretty much not going to see any precipitation uh, through uh, the day on Thursday. It does look like this snow won't enter our area until after sunset Thursday, but some areas will see snow pretty much throughout the entire night, especially past midnight into the first half of Friday as well. It also looks like we are going to see mostly snow from the system with maybe a mixture of rain for areas south near the Illinois border, but especially for Madison and areas north, expect to see only snow through the first half of the day on Friday and then it should clear out by Friday evening and then we are looking dry for Saturday. But here's a look at the snowfall forecast. As I mentioned, pretty solid from east to west. It's really the north to south that changes a lot. Uh, we are going to see around three to six inches north of Madison, possibly a little bit more. There is uh, some suggestion that we could see around eight inches up north near Watoma and Camp Douglas, but Madison will see around one to four, one to three, maybe even less uh, for those of you in Monroe and Janesville, as it's possible you folks see less than one inch of snow. But we have another alert day for Sunday and Monday. This system will bring snow and rainfall. I'll talk more in detail about this and show you the forecast for Thursday night system again coming up a little bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. Day one of the jury trial for DCI agent Mark Wagner is wrapping up right now. Wagner is the agent charged with recklessly endangering safety for firing his gun at a suspect in 2022. Today, both sides made opening statements, followed by witness testimony. Kyle Pazorski is live at the Dane County Courthouse with the latest. Kyle? Good afternoon. Today we heard opening statements this morning from both sides laying out to the jury from the evidence and witness that the trial moves forward. If you recall, Wagner was working on an arrest operation involving multiple agencies when he fired on Quadron Wilson in February of 2022. Today we heard from Wagner's attorney saying that agent Wagner believed Wilson shot at him first, prompting him to fire his gun. Early on, District Attorney Ismail Ozan delivering his opening statement saying a mistake was clearly made. Evidence is going to show that something went really wrong here. Now, law enforcement has the privilege to use force up to an even deadly force. But there must be articulable facts to justify any use of force. Ozan would go on to say that since Quadron Wilson did not have a gun on him during the arrest operation, that Wagner had no reason to use force. But in his remarks, defense attorney Daniel Sanders said multiple agents, including Wagner, thought he'd been fired at, arguing that's what gave Wagner the right to fire his gun. Multiple witnesses also did take the stand today, but it was mostly to go over their testimony and cross-examine. Wagner is scheduled to be on trial through the 29th. Reporting in downtown, Kapsorski, News 3 Now. Thank you, Kyle. People across the U.S. can now buy a birth control pill online and without a prescription. Thanks to Governor Evers, Wisconsinites with Badger Care Plus will be able to get the new over-the-counter contraceptives for free. The FDA approved the over-the-counter sale of Opil last July. Yesterday, the company that makes the oral contraceptive made it available for purchase at opil.com and on Amazon. A one-month supply costs around 20 bucks and a six-month supply sells for $90, though insurance may cover the cost. Doctors say the sale of this drug online is a game changer for women who lack access to health care. So in the past, you had to go see your doctor to be able to get the prescription for contraception. And we all know that sometimes that's just not um, easy. So sometimes women live far away, takes a while to get an appointment, maybe don't have health insurance right now. And so this gives uh, you a safe and effective option. 
Drug maker Perigo recently started shipping O-Pill to CVS and Walgreens as well. The FDA says the drug is generally safe for most people who could get pregnant, and it's about 93% effective. O-Pill should not be used as an emergency contraceptive, and patients with breast cancer should not take it. An Arizona lawmaker made a very personal announcement during a floor speech this week. Democratic State Senator Eva Birch will be getting an abortion after finding out her pregnancy is not viable. Birch has been pregnant for about eight weeks. Arizona's abortion ban begins at 15. The mother of two had her first miscarriage 13 years ago and has had several other failed attempts at having children. She says the current laws muddy the waters putting doctors and patients in difficult and dangerous situations. The last time that I had an abortion, I started to miscarry the night before it was scheduled to take place. And I was denied a procedure in the hospital because I was deemed not critical enough. In spite of the fact that my embryo had died and that my miscarriage had stalled. Arizona's Supreme Court is considering reinstating a law from the 1800s that would implement a near total ban. But abortion rights groups are trying to get a state constitutional amendment on the ballot this November that would allow abortions up to about 24 weeks. And new research out today shows abortions in the United States have reached their highest level in more than a decade. That's according to the Guttmacher Institute. Last year, there were more than one million abortions performed in the U.S. The findings come despite abortion bans in more than a dozen states since the Supreme Court's decision in 2022. According to an analysis by the Research and Policy Organization, nearly one in five patients are now traveling out out of state for abortion care. The NCAA tournament starts today with two of the first four matchups. And if you haven't filled out a bracket yet, or you want to fill out another one, we have an option for you. The News 3 Now Bracket Challenge is back, and you can compete for a chance to win a $500 gift card. All entries must be submitted before noon on Thursday, so you have some time. To find a link where you can fill out your bracket, just search for this story on our website, channel3000.com. And for those with a busted bracket, TGI Fridays is offering a consolation prize for college basketball fans with losing March Madness brackets. Six for Three boneless wings. That'll take the pain mm -hmm. out, right? But you do have to buy something to get the freebie and show off your busted bracket. The giveaway starts today. It runs through April 8th. Oh, now I want wings. <laughs> well, a quick programming note. On Wednesday, we will be carrying the Bucks and Boston Celtics game right here on WISC-TV. The Bucks game starts at 6.30, so Survivor and The Amazing Race will be on television Wisconsin at 3.2 on the TV. Survivor begins at 7. Amazing Race starts at 8.30. Once the game is over, Amazing Race will come back on air in progress and continue on TW. If you can't access TW, you can watch CBS primetime programming the next day on CBS.com. After a quick break, five states are holding primary elections today. We'll take a look at the state of the presidential race. And Asaw County Food Pantry is looking at a new space to keep up with growing need in the community. That story and more next. Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows. Because when you buy two, you get, get two, two free. free. Hurry, Champions Buy Two, Get Two Free sale is for a limited time. That's a great deal. Thanks. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. I'm Jonathan Lawson, here to tell you about life insurance through the Colonial Pen Program. If you're age 50 to 85 and looking to buy life insurance on a fixed budget, remember the three Ps. The three what? The three Ps. What are the three Ps? The three Ps of life insurance on a fixed budget are price, price, and price. A price you can afford, a price that can't increase, and a price that fits your budget. I'm 54 and was a smoker, but quit. What's my price? You can get coverage for $9.95 a month. I'm 65, retired, and take medications. What's my price? Also $9.95 a month. I just turned 80 and I'm on a fixed income. What's my price? $9.95 a month for you two. If you're age 50 to 85, call now about the number one most popular whole life insurance plan available through the Colonial Pen Program. Options start at $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. You cannot be turned down because of your health. 
No medical exam, no health questions. Your acceptance is guaranteed. And this plan has a guaranteed lifetime rate lock. So your rate can never go up for any reason. Options start at $9.95 a month. Plus, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So call now for free information, and you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. Use this valuable guide to record your important information and give helpful direction to your loved ones with your final wishes. And it's yours free, just for calling. So call now for free information. Call 1-800-914-3131 for your free information and your free gift. That's 1-800-914-3131. There's no risk or obligation. 1-800-914-3131. Call now. This month, we're looking for 200 homeowners interested in getting a new fence. We're offering up to $1,000 off, plus an upgrade of up to 10 free solar caps. Our fences outlast wood 3 to 1 and are backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. Call now or visit the website for your new fence today. Our record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. Welcome back. The U.S. is taking a tougher stance with Israel over its war with Hamas. President Biden spoke with Israel's prime minister by phone yesterday for the first time in weeks, telling him not to invade the southern Gaza city of Rafah without a plan to protect civilians. And on a diplomatic trip to the Philippines today, Secretary of State Antony Blinken also implored Israel to provide more assistance to what he called a, quote, horrific humanitarian situation for women, children, and men. Virtually half the population of Gaza is now officially starving. That's according to the world body that declares famine. 100% of the population in Gaza is at severe levels of acute food insecurity. That's the first time an entire population has been so classified. Blinken also urged Israel to have a plan for Gaza after the war, which he hopes ends soon. The plan, Blinken said, would have to be consistent with Israel's needs to defend itself. Blinken next heads to Saudi Arabia and Egypt for ceasefire discussions between Israel and Hamas. Today, congressional leaders formally announced a deal to keep the rest of the government funded through the fiscal year. House Speaker Mike Johnson said House and Senate committees have started drafting the text of the bill. He said the text would be released and considered by the full House and Senate as soon as it's ready. Congress has until the end of the day on Friday to pass the deal. Funding for the Department of Homeland Security had been a major obstacle in negotiations. Five states are holding primary contests today, further, test, uh, further teeing up the expected Biden-Trump rematch in November. Presumptive GOP nominee Donald Trump cast his vote today in the Florida primary, while President Biden is on a three-state swing out west to win back Latino voters. Vote, in addition to Florida, voters are also going to the polls in Arizona, Ohio, Illinois, and Kansas. We need patriots. We need strong people in our country. Our country is going downhill very fast. I'm confident. I'm confident we get our message out to the American people. We're going to win again. But here's the deal. You're the ones that are going to do it. Biden has stops planned today in Arizona and then heads to Texas for more fundraising. Former President Trump sued ABC News and anchor George Stephanopoulos for defamation. The suit is over a recent interview Stephanopoulos had with Congresswoman Nancy Mace. Mace, a South Carolina Republican who has endorsed Trump, is a survivor of rape. Stephanopoulos asked her how she could justify endorsing Trump after a jury found he sexually abused writer E. Jean Carroll in 1996. Stephanopoulos asserted in the interview that Trump raped Carroll. The jury found Trump had sexually abused her sufficiently to hold him liable for battery, but did not find she proved that he had raped her. However, the judge in the case did conclude 
that the claim Trump raped Carol was, quote, substantially true. Construction crews in Paris are marking a milestone in the reconstruction of the famous Notre Dame Cathedral. Notre Dame's crowning achievement is capturing hearts in Paris. The 900-year-old cathedral has shaken off its 600 tons of scaffolding to reveal a new spire. A time-lapse video shows the lead-up to the grand reveal, which wowed these tourists from Fond du Lac. Nothing short of a miracle considering all the damage. It's nice to see it come back. Brings hope. Paris deserves that. The world held its breath watching flames engulf Notre Dame in 2019. The medieval masterpiece largely survived, but the roof and iconic spire went up in smoke. Builders have spent the last five years resurrecting the Lady of Paris. A gold rooster like a phoenix rising from the ashes adorns the new 300-foot spire perched on a cross. Officials hope to give tourists that same reaction when the cathedral's doors open at the end of the year. Well, it's the first day of spring. We're tracking alert day conditions later on in the week. Let's get a look at your forecast with meteorologist Jacob Montesano. Jacob? Yeah, today will be the warmest day over the next week or so as temperatures will fall back into the 30s tomorrow and continue for the rest of the week. But we have that snowfall Thursday night and early Friday with rain and a mixture of snow expected Sunday and Monday of next week. And both of these systems have put out alert days. Now, as we take a look at the alert day for Thursday night, this system will mostly be all snowfall, maybe a mix of rain further south, but for the most part, expect to see all snow from the system, especially Thursday night into the first half of Friday. So let me take you through the forecast on this system. It'll move in after sunset on Thursday, so don't expect to see snow on Thursday, but expect to wake up to snowfall on Friday, and this will likely impact the Friday morning commute as we could see a few inches of snow already on the ground with some additional snowfall during the day on Friday, especially during the morning and early afternoon. Like I mentioned, we could see a mix of rain further south, but especially for Madison and north, we'll see all snowfall. And this will continue through the early afternoon, should clear up by the evening, maybe some lingering flurries. But by the time we get to Saturday morning, we certainly are going to be uh, dry, and we are going to be dry throughout the day on Saturday. But before that, we will see around one to three inches of snow in the southern portion of our area, around three to six north. And it is possible that we could see a little bit more than six inches inches towards the central portion of the state near Camp Douglas and Watoma. Madison will see around one to four and for those of you in Monroe and Janesville wouldn't surprise me if you folks don't even see an inch of snow. It's kind of going to be uh, not as big of an issue further south, but we have a second alert day for Sunday and Monday due to a second system that will bring both snow and rainfall. Now this system accumulation is still very uncertain, but it does look like we are going to see it start to snow and transition to rain. So this system looks to enter our area Sunday afternoon, starting as snowfall and then Sunday night that snow will transition into rain and we are expect to see quite a bit of rain uh, during the day, early morning hours and possibly even into the afternoon hours on Monday. Although it, although this model is showing to the south, it is possible this system tracks into our area and bring us plenty of rainfall. We also could see some snow on the back end of this system, so we may see it uh, go from snow to rain back to snow before it finally clears out by the time we get to Tuesday. It may linger into Tuesday, but for the most part, we're not going to see a lot of precipitation that day. Now, looking at the temperatures over the next 10 days, this is something we really haven't seen over the last couple of months, where we're pretty much going to be below average a lot of the seven-day forecast. Could get near that on Monday and possibly towards the end of the week, but the rest of this week is going to be in the 30s, and even next week will be in the 40s, and that's still below average for this time of the year. So expect to see a pretty active week and a half with uh, the two alert days and the temperatures staying below average. Best chance to see the snowfall will be Thursday night and Friday, and then again on Sunday as the snow will transition to rain by Monday. All right, Jacob, thank you. A Sauk County food pantry is looking at a new space to keep up with the growing need in the community. Josh Spreider visited the pantry in Baraboo to learn how we can help support it in the 608. 
We are at the Beyond Blessed Food Pantry in Baraboo, learning more about their mission and also where they want to go moving forward. The executive director, Shannon Howley, is joining us. Shannon, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Yes, thanks for having us out because you guys have a lot going on here in Baraboo. Not only are you continuing to grow, but you're also looking ahead to the future. We are. So we're seeing more numbers than we've ever seen before. We average about 700 households a week, somewhere between 650 and 700 households. Both four, six, Baraboo, two households, four, six, both Baraboo. And we've outgrown our space, so we're looking to move. We're looking to get a bigger facility. So here in your space, Wednesdays are your big day. You can see you guys are getting ready for yep. tomorrow. This is huge because you guys have seen numbers double since the pandemic. We did. So at, our, at the peak of the pandemic, we saw households around 350. And when we entered 2023, we really thought that we would land somewhere between 425 to 450 households, and we ended the year greater than 700. What does the line look like? Long. So about 200 in line. That really kind of just put us into a, what are we going to do? What does this look like? How do we keep it sustainable? And so now we're trying to figure all of that out, and a move is part of it, and keeping the food going is our number one priority, obviously. We feed people. Um, but in order to do that and make it easier, we're looking to get a new building, that one that's our own. So you have a capital campaign going on. We do. Talk about how people can help support that. So the capital campaign is going on, and we have a fl we've created a list of like different ways people can give. Obviously, every donation helps. The reality is we need to raise $3 million by July. <laughs> so there's that. Um, and we're just trusting God to do it. And you have the community support, it seems, already Absolutely. with the volunteers. Yeah, because on any Wednesday, it takes anywhere from 60 to 75 volunteers. 60 is a little hard. We, we run pretty hard if we're at only 60, so 75 is better between the morning and the afternoon crew. So this is a lot of work. What keeps you going? I love what I do, and I love giving back to the community. Um, I have the greatest group of volunteers ever, and the combination of that doesn't make it feel like work. Yeah, it takes all of those things together to do something good, doesn't it? It does. Shannon, thank you so much for your time. Good thank luck you. with everything. Hopefully this story will give people a little bit reason to give back again. If anybody has questions, please reach out. I love to chat. And we have that linked right up on channel3000.com, making it nice and easy for people. So if you're interested, just go to our web story, and we have the links to learn how you can help right now. In Baraboo, Josh Breider, News 3 Now. All right, guys, thank you very much. Well, hopefully you have a little bit of corned beef left over from your St. Patrick's Day dinner. Yeah, maybe even a lot. <laughs> Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council is celebrating March with Irish-inspired recipes. Mmm, sounds good when Live at Four continues. Catch the Bucks on Broadcast TV when they clash with the Celtics on your new local home for select Bucks games. Watch as Giannis and the Bucks ship up to Boston to tangle with one of the top teams in the league in an Eastern Conference showdown. Don't miss it when the Greek freak gets unleashed. Bucks, Celtics, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Wednesday at 6.30 on WISC TV3. Does your roof look great from the ground, but yet it's still leaking? We see roofs every day that look great, but the important details weren't done correctly. With the average cost of a replacement roof being north of $25,000, that might not be what you need. Let one of our specialists give you a free 16-point inspection and let you know exactly what's really wrong with your roof and show you how we can restore it, saving you thousands. Remember, when you think roofing, think Larson, Wisconsin's best roofing experience. Another year of yo-yo dieting? Not this year. Hit reset and make a permanent change with permanent fat removal by Sonobello. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat gone. These are my favorite pair of jeans that I couldn't even button up. Look how flat my stomach is. I couldn't believe like it was just gone. I saw the results immediately. And this is the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. Real women everywhere are transforming their bodies permanently. Sono Bello is not a fad diet or boot camp workout. It's a simple, proven way to remove stubborn body fat permanently and in just one visit. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. If you are looking for physical results and positive emotional results, please run, don't walk to your nearest Sono Bello. Ready to hit reset? Find out how you can save $250 off instantly. Call now or go to Sonobello.com.
You think Atlanta's point guard is good for 20 tonight? No question. You hear he got name dropped on that new song? He feeling himself for so. sure. Ever since that track drop, he been on fire. The hook literally says his name eight times in a row. He might go for 30. With that much hype, I'd lock it in. That's just me. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Cash in on your sports fandom with prize picks. Looking for a better probiotic? Try Florigen. It's refrigerated behind the pharmacy counter to maximize freshness and potency and deliver three times more good bacteria for supercharged digestive and immune support. Ask your pharmacist for Florigen probiotics today. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. Trust your home with RG Heating and AC. Well, St. Patrick's Day is in the books, but I bet you have this question. What do I do with all that leftover corned beef? Good question, Angie. Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council is here with some Irish recipes. Hi, Angie. Hi. Good Hello. to see you. Uh, yeah, it smells so good in here. It does. I just made these in the oven at the office. So they're nice and fresh and hot. Kind of two casseroles mm -hmm. to use with leftover corned beef. Now, if you don't have leftover corned beef, I've made both of these with deli sliced corned beef. That works just as well. That works just as well. And actually, the Reuben casserole calls for deli sliced roast beef, but I use like leftover what I cooked up on Sunday. Yeah. So, so this is uh, like a Reuben sandwich, right? Yeah, so this is uh, my Reuben sandwich, but in casserole form. <laughs> so I just put down a pound of sauerkraut, but I did take a little time and drained it in a colander and then patted mm -hmm. it dry with a paper towel. Put a little salt and pepper over that, put your corned beef in, sliced Swiss, and then thought drizzled Thousand Island dressing and then rye bread. So I just bought some rye um, in the bakery and chunked it up and then a couple tablespoons of butter, melt that, put mm -hmm. that over the rye, 350 degree oven, 30 minutes. It's and a then, week for it too. Yeah, <laughs> I, right, we're back to we need those warm comfort yeah. foods. <laughs> Yeah, so 30 minutes, and it is so delicious. It is. It tastes just like a Reuben. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Great. And then we have this beauty right here. Yes, so this takes a little bit more time. So this is pretty much just a scallop potato recipe, but with an Irish twist. Okay. So I've got a layer of corned beef in here, and then a layer of um, cabbage that I took and softened, sauteed. So it's not sauerkraut, it's the cabbage. I was Can just gonna ask, what do you do with the leftover cabbage? You put it so, in this yeah. one. Yeah, saute it in, I like it, in just in a skillet about 20 minutes, mm -hmm. soften up with a little butter, salt and pepper, throw in your corned beef, warm that up, and then um, I use like Yukon gold potatoes, mm -hmm. but you could use any potato, slice those up, layer them in, and then there's Swiss shredded Swiss in here. And then the sauce, the scalloped potato sauce is heavy whipping cream, whole milk, um, a little mayonnaise, mm -hmm. which is a little different, a little onion powder, garlic powder, spicy brown mustard. So kind of flavors oh, like that. I'm glad but, you're serving this up. Okay, I want to see what this looks like. Yeah. So, oh, that looks good. And it's kind of, it's called like a coal cannon casserole because coal cannon's very, uh, I've traditional Irish mashed potatoes with like that cooked cabbage in there. Oh, okay, it, this is really good. I, so, it looks delicious. It, it, it's delicious. It's perfect too for these warm, maybe snowy nights, oh, rainy right. nights we're right. gonna have, which is crazy, right. so. And oftentimes it's more fun to do something different with your leftovers though, than it is to have it when it's fresh. Like, it's, it, this is fun. I exactly. Agree. So like on beeftips.com, if you click on As Seen on TV, I've got these recipes, but then I've got a link to our corned beef recipe collection and we get we have a lot of different takes on the yeah. Reuben we get some little Reuben bites we perfect for a March Madness mm -hmm. for a game if Great you idea. just yeah nice little Reuben bites of course the Reuben sandwich um all the corned beef hash if oh, you that like that nice. homemade corned beef hash it's a lot different than what you buy in the can yeah, yeah. yeah. I would say so. yeah, yeah. yeah. all right Angie yeah. great so. to see you yeah you too Hope you guys had a great St. Patty's Day. Yeah, you too. Nice. There you go. Yeah. Beeftips.com. The, you can find the Wisconsin Beef Council on Facebook and Instagram. Next, a rally around the Capitol to reduce the amount of salt that we use in winter storms. We'll have more right after this. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to go, Daddy, go! Do not go. It's free if I do it, babe. <laughs> Whoa! 
You need the experts. Let the experts at Feldco make your home renewal project a cinch with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for five years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. This is me, and this was my stubborn body fat. My name's Adrian, and Sonobello changed my life. Sonobello is America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. After having two kids, my body, it changed a lot. I tried everything to lose the fat, but nothing seemed to work. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, back, chin, and more. I've seen such dramatic results. My tummy is gone, my double chin is gone, and my hourglass shape is back. This was the mommy makeover that I deserved. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-357-3263 or go to sonobello.com. Imagine trying to take on one of the big car companies. It's not easy. Yet this year, one local law firm finalized the largest compensatory verdict in state history against an automaker, over $38 million. And it was no fluke. That same firm has been holding big car companies accountable for faulty designs that cause injury for over 50 years. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Here's your parachute. Certain it's okay? Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters, so congratulate coworkers or say thank you with promotional products from 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. Happy spring, everybody. <laughs> Today is the first day of spring. Ooh, nice day to get out on the, yeah. the bike path, take Look a little that. bike ride. Yeah, I wish we were out there now, but... Here's the thing, our winter, our weather words today, a wintry start to spring. Let's send it out to Jacob Montesano for a check of our first warm forecast. Jacob? Yeah, although today is fairly comfortable, we are going to see winter pretty much return. I wouldn't say full force, but it is going to be uh, snowing quite a bit over the next uh, seven days. We have an alert day Thursday night into early Friday. And as far as how much snow you see, that will depend on where you are located in our viewing area. Places north of Dane County will see a lot more than places south. And Madison will be right in the middle of that, seeing around one to four inches. So let me take you through the forecast. Snow won't enter our area until after sunset Thursday. So Thursday will remain dry, but we are expected to see widespread snow showers after midnight Thursday into the morning Friday and continuing after sunrise on Friday. And a lot of our area will see some heavy snow at times, but we also are going to mostly see snow with only a small chance of the rain mixing in, but that's not the case for our next system. But this system will clear out uh, Friday afternoon and evening leaving behind around three to six inches for areas north of Madison, around one to three south. It wouldn't surprise me, though, if places near Monroe and Janesville don't even see an inch of snow. And here in Madison, we'll see around one to four inches. And it's also possible that further north in central Wisconsin, you folks may see a little bit more than six inches. So we definitely are going to see accumulation, and it will impact the Friday morning commute. But the winter weather doesn't end there because we have another system. This one will bring snowfall and rainfall. And it, the alert day is, is uh, in the forecast for Sunday and Monday. I'll talk more in detail about this system coming up a little bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. A snowplow rally made its way around the Capitol Square, uh, Capitol Square today. The goal was to raise awareness about a bill that's trying to reduce the amount of salt we use in winter storms. Ahead of another winter storm in our forecast, Catherine Merck spoke with advocates about their reasons for supporting the bill with context on the pushback at the State House. If you heard snowplows like these making their way around the Capitol Square on a day like today, that's the sound of advocates who want less salt. All that over application of salt 
it's deteriorating your cars, it's getting into the lakes, the rivers, the streams, and it's, it's just waste. Representatives for the Snow and Ice Management Association want Governor Tony Evers to stand by the state's freshwater resources. <laughs> Senate Bill 52 aims to train people to remove snow and ice properly and ultimately lower the amount of salt in our lakes. <laughs> However, there have been some changes to the bill that have caused some Democrats to pull their support. That's due to potential liability that could come from less salt if contractors don't use it. But supporters say they want their voices heard. Sometimes they say you could put too much salt down. What we're looking at here really is are we going to you know, continue down a really unsustainable path and salt our drinking water to the point that we won't be able to drink it. The bill is supposed to make its way to the governor's desk on April 4th, and he'll have six days to decide whether he'll sign it or not. Reporting in Madison, I'm Katherine Merck, News 3 Now. Calling all third, fourth, and fifth graders who love to write. The Wisconsin DNR is now accepting entries for the Air Air Everywhere Poetry Contest. The contest is designed to raise awareness of the importance of good air quality in honor of Clean Air Month in May. The DNR wants teachers and parents to submit original poems and riddles written by their students. The three winning poets will have their work featured on the DNR website and social media pages. Measles is making a comeback across the U.S. With more than 50 cases already reported in 2024, local health leaders are strongly encouraging you to take preventative measures now. Maddie Heimch has the story. Maddie. Susan Brady, this is a graph by the CDC showing us the number of cases growing across the country. This right here is the start of 2024, and as we can see, we've seen a lot more cases this year than we did throughout 2023. Health experts say measles is highly contagious, especially among those unvaccinated, young children and infants, and those with compromised immune systems. The good news is that when it comes to Wisconsin, so far this year, there has not been a case reported. The Jefferson County Health Department Department laid out five things it recommends for protecting yourself from measles. It says the most effective way to prevent the disease is getting vaccinated. Health experts also recommend staying informed of outbreaks in your area, practicing good hygiene, avoiding contact with sick people, and seeking medical attention early if you start to experience symptoms. On News 3 Now at 5, we'll have more tips from local health experts. Thank you, Maddie. Well, stocks rose today as the Federal Reserve kicked off its two-day policy meeting. The Dow gained 320 points, the Nasdaq gained 63, and the S&P was up 29. Well, are you tired of tossing and turning at night when sleep becomes elusive? Mm -hmm. well, if you think sleep supplements and drugs would help you out, Consumer Reports sorts out truth from fiction when we come back. It's replacement window season. Do you have ugly, hard to open, drafty windows? Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows. Because when you buy two, you get two free. Buy two Champion windows, get, get two, two free? free? I guess that means if you buy four, you, you get, get four, four free. free. Buy six, get, get six, six free. free. Buy 10, get, get 10, 10 free. free. Hurry, Champion's buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. Great job, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. Come on, Michael, come on. Catch the ball! Huddle up! Do you need to get your eyes checked? Well, actually... Here's the play. Stanton Optical makes glasses in 30 minutes. It's easy on three. One, two, three. Easy! easy. Hut! Hut! Oh, Michael, you got this! Come on, come on, turn! Michael, catch! I can see! You did it! I did it! 30 minute glasses? Now that's an easy play. Stanton Optical. Easy's our thing. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us. With expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing at your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. CBS Fiber Internet makes our home smarter. Working, playing, living, learning. It's all better with TDS Fiber Internet because it's faster, more reliable. It's award-winning internet served up by friendly local folks. It's what keeps us connected. 
And isn't that what it's all about? Say hello to internet that hits different. Say hello to TDS. Catch the Bucks on broadcast TV when they clash with the Celtics on your new local home for select Bucks games. Watch as Giannis and the Bucks ship up to Boston to tangle with one of the top teams in the league in an Eastern Conference showdown. Don't miss it when the Greek freak gets unleashed. Bucks, Celtics, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Wednesday at 6.30 on WISC TV3. Have a great night and do something good. I started saying it because I was just so tired of all the bad news in the world. People are out there doing great things. I've experienced it. And believe me, it can change your day. Tell us about the good you see. Go to Channel 3000 or post it using the hashtag do something good. I'll share your stories on News 3 Now. Our community is full of wonderful giving people. Let's celebrate them together. Let's do something good. Oh, do you ever have any trouble sleeping? All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you're someone who does, you're not alone. One in three of us is not getting the uninterrupted sleep that we need. There are a lot of products out there claiming that with just one dose, you'll be dozing right off. Is it true? Our Shane Hogan says Consumer Reports has looked into sleep supplements and drugs that promise to be a dream come true. We've all been there after a rough night of sleep. Facing the next day is not fun. The truth is, not sleeping enough isn't just annoying. It can actually contribute to serious health problems, including diabetes, high blood pressure, weight gain, and depression. For decades, many people have turned to over-the-counter sleep drugs, but they can leave you feeling drowsy the next day. And prescription sleep medications, even the newer ones, come with some additional risks as well. Some have also been linked to sleepwalking and other odd nighttime behaviors. So you should take the lowest dose for the shortest time possible. One option is CBD. CBD is shown to have mild side effects and it's not addictive. If you suffer from chronic insomnia, before you turn to CBD, it's actually time to make an appointment with your physician. He or she can help you with a more proven therapy called cognitive behavioral therapy, which helps focus on behaviors that can improve your sleep. And what about melatonin? Consumer Reports says it might be a good option for people who work night shifts or are jet lagged, but taking more than what your body produces can cause you to be sleepy or mentally or physically slow the next day. Start off with a dose between 0.2 and 0.5 milligrams and never take a dose higher than 10 milligrams. In Madison, Shane Hogan, News 3 Now. If you still want to give CBD a try, talk with your doctor, especially if you take other medications because CBD may interact with them. When we come back, we're going to talk about the surging popularity in weight loss medications with UW Health's Dr. Jeff Potoff. And that follows Oprah's special that looked at the myths and realities involving obesity. That's next on Live at Four. Fall in love with your bathroom again with a new tub or shower by Tundraland. As the exclusive jacuzzi bath remodel dealer of Wisconsin, remodels with Tundraland give your home life-changing results with minimal disruption. Traditional remodels can take weeks or even months to complete, but when you work with Tundraland, most installations are done in one day. That means our team can arrive at breakfast and you'll have a beautiful new jacuzzi system by dinner. Our install team works efficiently to transform your bathroom, leaving it spotless when they leave. No mess, no stress, just pure relaxation. Many of our customers, like Regina and Dennis, were surprised at how easy and stress-free the process was. The team has been great. It was just phenomenal. It's been a great experience. I can't even express it. And they <laughs> just excited. <laughs> the team actually set the expectation. We just can't wait to see the finished product. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. I love it. Thank you, Jacuzzi Bath Remodel. Thank you. Oh, my God. I cannot wait. Oh, my God, I can't wait. <laughs> 
And not only will your bathroom look stunning, but it will also be equipped with the most advanced features for your comfort and convenience. Tundraland understands that safety should never be sacrificed for style. That's why our jacuzzi bath remodels include features like grab shelves, strategically placed to act as grab bars, giving you peace of mind without sacrificing the stylish appeal of your bathroom. Ready to transform your bathroom into a space you can enjoy? Call us at 800 Tunderland or visit tunderland.com to schedule your free design consultation. This March, we're offering an exclusive deal. Your new bath or shower starting as low as $79 a month, plus a free upgrade to stylish matte black fixtures and no interest for a full 12 months. We'll bring the showroom to you and help you design your perfect system. Call 800 Tunderland or visit tunderland.com today. Interested in an electric vehicle? Bergstrom has the largest selection of electric vehicles and a team you can trust. Buy with confidence and complete peace of mind from Wisconsin's number one automotive retailer. Bergstrom Automotive, driven to deliver gas, hybrid, or electric. This month, we're looking for 200 homeowners interested in getting a new fence. We're offering up to $1,000 off, plus an upgrade of up to 10 free solar caps. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. Call now or visit the website for your new fence today. Expand your outdoor landscaping and get an 11% rebate on our huge selection of landscape blocks from Menards. Get free estimates fast on your next block project. From patios, retaining walls, fire pits, and more, you can design the landscape of your dreams for free. Visit the store or Menards.com to get started on your next project today. Get an 11% rebate on all landscaping blocks. Doesn't that look wonderful? This is a live picture of Honolulu, Hawaii. Ooh. And we're showing you this today because we're saying goodbye to our director, Dylan Crane, is leaving us. No. He won't let us take a picture of him in the booth, but he's going to Hawaii right after yeah. this. 75 degrees in Honolulu. Just for vacation, <laughs> right? Not for work. Send us a postcard, Dylan. <laughs> we'll miss you. Well, Oprah Winfrey is speaking openly about her lifelong struggle with weight, both the physical and the emotional side. She returned to national television last night with a one-hour special focused on weight loss. For 25 years, making fun of my weight was national sport. I had no choice. I was During the special on ABC, Oprah addressed myths and realities around obesity and the shame and discussed the pros and cons of new weight loss medications. On CBS Morning's chief medical contributor, Dr. John LaPook, stressed that obesity is a chronic disease. This is not something that you can just say, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snap out of it. Would you ever go up to somebody who has asthma or diabetes and say, snap out of it? Mm. Well, you can't snap out of obesity. Um, it, there are brain changes. Dr. LaPook says weight loss drugs are effective at decreasing cravings in the brain and slowing down the gastrointestinal tract so you get fuller sooner. But some people experience side effects like vomiting and stomach pain. Despite the side effects, there is unprecedented demand for drugs like Ozempic and Wegovi. The FDA just approved Wegovi to be marketed for heart benefits as well. Now, there's a lot to talk about. UW Health's Dr. Jeff Pothoff is here. Welcome back. Hi, Dr. Pothoff. Hey Welcome. So yeah, first of all, I mean, this is something that a lot of people are trying. We've seen a lot of celebrities and a lot of wealthier people try it. But is it feasible for someone with regular income to go for it? Because it's very expensive. Yeah, I mean, it's hard right now because a lot of these medications aren't well covered by insurance mm -hmm. companies. So if you're paying out of pocket, you could be looking at thousands to thousands of dollars per month for these medicines. Uh, they can be effective, though. So certainly if you're considering or you're wondering about it, not bad to have a discussion with your primary care mm -hmm. provider, particularly uh, if you have diabetes uh, type 2 that you're having difficulty controlling with, say, metformin or other medications, uh, or if you're obese or overweight, defined by your BMI, BMI uh, and uh, you're having trouble with managing that, there could be some indications mm -hmm. there. But right now they are still relatively unaffordable for most people. And they're, they're not primarily just for people with diabetes in other words they can be prescribed solely for weight loss yeah so um, and it really depends how the manufacturer gets FDA approval but these medications are there's really two use cases right now um, better management of diabetes so blood sugar control uh, and weight loss uh, for example Ozempic and Wagovi are the exact same medication just mm -hmm. licensed for different uses mm -hmm. so how does this work how does it um, trigger the weight loss yeah, so these medications are called GLP-1 
uh, agonists, so glucagon-like peptide, and they have a few effects. So one, uh, they stimulate the pancreas to secrete more insulin. Mm. Uh, insulin kind of eats up your blood sugar and then drops uh, your blood sugar. Uh, and then they also uh, serve to uh, make your transit of food through the GI system slower. Um, so, uh, you know, if I eat something, it stays in my stomach longer, um, and that makes me feel more full, like I don't need to eat anymore because I'm full, and that can persist. Uh, so uh, eating up that sugar and then also making it feel like you're full uh, is what drives both the decreased blood sugar, which is what we want in diabetes, and the weight gain, which is what we want in people with obesity. And is it a long-term treatment? Yeah, typically. So uh, you typically uh, inject it. They're, most of these are injectables underneath the skin. You take it once per week uh, and uh, you stay on it for a long time. Uh, these are all relatively new. So the, the full kind of like how long do you need to be on it isn't understood, but uh, it's likely uh, that you'll need to be on these medications uh, for the long term. And uh, good to point out, they're not miracle drugs. So if you just take the medication and be like, all right, I'm going to lose a lot of weight, doesn't work that way. It still takes attention to diet and exercise, but when you combine those things with these medications, it can be pretty effective. Do you think that this will have the Oprah effect and we'll, we'll see more of a demand for it now? I think you could, although demand probably can't be that much higher than what it already mm -hmm. is for these medications. I think it's good for consumers to have awareness, though, that these things are out there uh, and uh, talk with your doctors. Uh, if for anything, uh, to just like drive more attention towards diabetes and why it's so important to control blood sugars and weight loss and why it can uh, really make a big difference uh, in your health long term uh, if you're able to manage weight. Definitely yeah. something to talk to your doctor about. Yep. Thanks, Dr. Pata. Very interesting. Thank you. Good to see you. Next, it might be spring, but it's going to feel more like winter toward the end of the week. Can we go back to Hawaii? Remember that? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Meteorologist Jacob Montesano has our forecast when we come back. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Looking for a better probiotic? Try Florigen. It's refrigerated behind the pharmacy counter to maximize freshness and potency and deliver three times more good bacteria for supercharged digestive and immune support. Ask your pharmacist for Florigen probiotics today. Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows. Because when you buy two, you get, get two, two free. free. Hurry, Champion's buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. That's a great deal. Thanks. Call 888-4CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. Have Medicare and Medicaid? iCare's dual eligible special needs plans offer an $1,800 annual allowance for eligible groceries and more. Rest easy. iCare is looking out for you and your health. Meet Madison Magazine's Chef of the Year. Learn why Jamie Brown Sukasumi earns raves for her next-gen take on Southeast Asian cuisine. And visit a local farm that brings you closer to the food you eat. Madison Magazine, online and on newsstands now. Madison Magazine presents The City Guide, your ultimate resource for Madison area adventures. With inside tips on where to eat, what to do, and places to see. Available now on area newsstands or online at madisonmagazine.com. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Campaign 2024 is heating up in Battleground, Wisconsin, and News 3 Now is bringing you complete team coverage throughout this crucial election year. From the candidates to the issues that matter to you, the voters. Campaign 2024 on News 3 Now, moving forward. Get your bracket on with the News 3 Now Bracket Challenge. Make your tourney picks for a chance to win a $500 gift card and see how your bracket measures up against the News 3 Now sports team. Register and fill out your bracket now at channel3000.com. I think a lot of people are saying, yeah, yeah. Well, here's a look at the alert day information for Thursday night and Friday. This system, we will mostly see snowfall with just a small chance that we could see a rain mixed in uh, south of Madison. But the accumulations will also be different depending on your location. We'll see more snow north of Dane County and less snow to the south. So here's a look at the forecast for Thursday system or Thursday night system. It's not going to enter our area until overnight past sunset on Thursday, but we are expected to see widespread snow showers, especially past midnight.
through Friday morning and possibly even into Friday afternoon. Areas for Madison and North will definitely see all snowfall. Slight mixed chances near the Illinois border and this system will clear out by Friday afternoon and evening. Taking a look at the accumulation forecast for it, we'll see around three to six inches for you folks in the central portion of the state, possibly in northern Dane County as well. And there's also a small chance that a few areas north of the Dells near Watoma Camp Douglas see more than six inches and further south the less snow that will occur and Monroe and Janesville it's possible you folks barely even see an inch of snowfall as areas near the Illinois border won't really see much snow but we have another alert day for Sunday and Monday of next week this system will produce snow and rainfall now accumulation is still a bit unclear but it does look like we will see both types of precipitation so here's a look at the forecast for that system dry Saturday but snow will start on a Sunday afternoon and by the time we get to Sunday night that snow will transition into rainfall and we are expect to see heavy rain for a time especially a uh, late Sunday night and early Mon Monday morning but also is possible that that rain continues especially for the southeastern portion of our area throughout the afternoon Monday and it also is possible we could see it turn back into snowfall before the system is over. So this system, we're talking about snow, then rain, and then possibly some snow again. And that system should clear out by Tuesday, maybe some lingering precipitation early Tuesday, but Tuesday afternoon does look to be dry. Now, as far as temperatures, we are going to be below average. It's going to feel like winter, despite it being the first week of spring, with temperatures consistently in the 30s. Does your roof look great from the ground, but yet it's still leaking? We see roofs every day that look great, but the important details weren't done correctly. With the average cost of a replacement roof being north of $25,000, that might not be what you need. Let one of our specialists give you a free 16-point inspection and let you know exactly what's really wrong with your roof and show you how we can restore it, saving you thousands. Remember, when you think roofing, think Larson, Wisconsin's best roofing experience. Like a bowl of cherries, life in Attic Angel is healthy and sweet. Our independent and assisted living lifestyles include newly renovated apartments, engaging social activities, and wellness support that is tailored to you. As time marches on, we promote the idea that life can always be a bowl of cherries. Attic Angel Community, the house that angels built. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to Introducing Gloria's Mexican Restaurant, your destination for authentic Mexican cuisine and craft cocktails. We're proud to offer delicious dishes made from the best ingredients. Whether a family meal or a special event, Gloria's has you covered. Visit us today. Before USA insulation, one room was colder than the other. It was harder to keep the temperature at a, at a good level. At that point, we realized that we needed to check into the walls and see what was going on. It's an older house. After USA insulation came in and, and put the foam in, we noticed almost immediately the following month was about a $40 decrease in our bill. The following month after that, it was around $50, $55. So we started seeing results almost immediately after they put the insulation in. USA insulation. That wraps up our show for Live at 4 today. Hope you'll stay with us for News 3 Now at 5. Brady's in the newsroom with what to expect in our coverage moving forward. Brady? Right now on Channel3000.com, the News 3 Now Bracket Challenge is back. To join in on the fun, just go to CBSSports.com and join the News 3 Now Bracket Challenge 2024 group. And next at 5, what does Wisconsin smell like? Hmm, more on how sensory affects our lives and the lab that's tapping into smell next. Well, thanks for joining Live at 4. We hope to see you right back here tomorrow. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.